Hey everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here, and I wanted to make a little tips video, a little build video on wooden roller coasters, and this is the very first one in probably a series I'm going to do, but um, um, I have bought the um, toolkit for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. There's a few options here, Park Scenario Editor, I want to do something on that um, sometime, but I'm going to go into the Ride Designer right here and we're gonna go ahead and pick a wooden roller coaster and if you're a beginner building roller coasters can be very intimidating especially when you look at all of these great custom design rides and there's nothing wrong with picking one of these and putting it into your park if you got the money but I have the I find the most enjoyment in this game when I build my own roller coasters and they work and um, my guests like them, and I find that sometimes I can make even better roller coasters on my own than picking the pre-built ones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and build one today and kind of just uh, go through my thought process on building or wooden roller coasters. So the first thing I do is I build, and um, I'm going to build this one. This is going to be a smaller, a very basic wooden roller coaster and so I'm going to take it up to 65 feet and um, that is a pretty standard height and um, you can start this out however you want I decide to do I go up to 70 feet and I do a small um, a small hill into a just a standard turn there and then I'm going to build straight up um, I'm going to do 45 foot hills here and that's going to give the roller coaster plenty of speed to get over the top of these hills. So I'm going to do two hills here into the top and I'm going to go ahead and um, build some more standard turns. Again, no bank turns here. And these are the wide turns. I'm going to do some more just some more hills. This is again I'm not doing really any um, turned hills. Uh, I'm, I'm just doing straight hills and um, just standard measurements on these. Okay, so I'm going from my 45 foot hills to my 25 foot hills. And I'm going to do, again, two of these into a turn. No bank turns here standard wide turns not the extra wide and I'm going in um, gonna go into another 25 foot hill and I figure the roller coaster is gonna get have some more s momentum at this point so I'll do another 25 foot that's my third 25 foot um, incline and now I'm going to do two 15 foot hills here. And these ones, you can't do a steep hill on a 15 foot um, incline. So I have to do the shallow hill here. And then I work the angles here. I like my um, roller coasters to have symmetrical turns. And what I don't realize is that I could have just built this turn, the small. The, uh, the, sh the short turns here, but I was a little bit blind, <laughs> and I didn't look at this right. So I was going to try to figure it out by trying to like put an S-bend in there. Um, I, tried, I tried to bank the hills here, and I realized I didn't want to do this here, and that it wouldn't fit. And that's This is when I realized it, so I, I go back and I just do a regular turn. Now I put my um, station platform at 10 feet so I gotta do one more small hill here and then I'm going to put my block brakes and that's gonna allow block brake sections which is safer on a roller coaster than not doing block brake sections. Okay, and then I'm going to um, put in my entrance and my exit here. So I go ahead and I do that and now we are ready to test the ride. 
and I test this and I realize the um, the trains themselves are a little bit strange looking. I'm not used, I don't usually do the articulated roller coaster trains, but I figure, okay, that's fine. It's not going to affect it too much. So let's go ahead and just run it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to watch the whole thing. I'm not going to speed up the test runs on this. I'm just going to make sure everything's okay. So I watch it and it makes that hill okay and it's going nice and slow through that turn. And this is where I get, I do get a little concerned because you see how fast the roller coaster is going through these next turns and I did not bank them. So um, it worries me a little bit because the bank turns can really uh, reduce the amount of g-forces that are going to be put on the uh, on the guests. So you can see though I'm not in the red in anything here. If you ever come up and it's in the red, something's wrong and you're going to get an in, um, something's going to be bad in either your intensity or nausea rating and it'll also drop your excitement rating. But this one looks pretty good. 6.45 excitement rating, pretty standard. Um, but that's a pretty high intensity rating. It was like an 8.45 or something like that. So I'm going to build another roller coaster right here. And it's going to be identical, except for I'm going to try and bank some of these curves that were going too fast and see if that improves anything. And we'll be able to look more closely at those ratings in a moment here. So again, this is the exact same roller coaster build, except for all I'm doing is I'm banking these turns here. I look over and make sure I'm building it the exact same way, uh, just with the bank turns. So we'll let this, we'll go ahead and finish this up real quick. And then we'll test this one out and, and we'll look at the difference. Again, a, a bank turn here. And then the block breaks. Put in the entrance and the exit. I put the entrance and the exit in different locations this time. Hopefully that didn't affect anything too much. I don't think it does. I don't think it affects anything. Another thing that you can do for these roller coasters, if you don't, um, if you don't want the hill to be so slow, is you can increase the speeds. I have found that increasing the speeds of the chain hill can make the roller coaster like exciting for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. Now we know that the roller coaster is going to make it, so that that's some pretty concern. I didn't bank this because the roller coaster is going slow enough. I don't think it would really affect the G forces um, in our statistics. So it's finishing up here. Let's look at the test results. And I'm gonna go ahead and compare the test results here and you'll see immediately um, everything looks almost identical except for look at the max lateral G's. And you'll see that on the wooden roller coaster two, it's a 1.48 and the wooden roller coaster one, it's a 2.63. And the intensity rating has dropped almost a full um, point. And they're both still very high, but you can also see the nausea rating has gone down, and the excitement rating, ever so slightly, has gone up. And that's, you know, the lower the intensity rating, um, the better, I have found. You know, it, it can prevent um, some people from riding if it's too low, but in this case, I think that's good. So, try banking your curves, and um, see if that can help you out in your roller coasters and I'll, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna be making some more of these this is you know this is my first one um, if you who knows how many people actually watch this thing but if you want any more tips or if you have any questions go ahead and ask me in the comments section please like and subscribe again this is the classic tycoon and I'll see you guys in the next one